seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift up. just by the vehicle assembly building. That shuttle landing facility is the longest concrete runway in the world. It's three miles long and 300 feet wide, and it crests to about 24 inches in the center to allow for water runoff. 
Now, when the shuttle orbiter comes home, it is an unpowered vehicle. It is a it is a large glider, and it's coming home very, very quickly. By the time she gets here to Kennedy Space Center, she's passing over the visitors complex. Uh, she'll be up about about forty thousand feet, and that's usually the cruising altitude for most transatlantic jetliners. At about 30,000 feet, the vehicle will go subsonic, generating that big double sonic boom we've all come to know and love. Watching very closely now the weather out here, particularly the clouds and the lightning. We do have very strict weather commit criteria as far as launch is concerned. Among that criteria, we cannot have rain or thunder shower activity within 20 nautical miles of the launch pad or 20 nautical miles of the shuttle runway. This weather commit criteria not only applies to our launch pad and to our runway here, but also to our three alternate landing sites, uh, two in Spain and one in France. Now these uh, two sites in Spain are uh, Zaragoza and Moron, and the other one is in uh, 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 Illis, France. And these uh, landing uh, uh, runways uh, in the uh, and airplanes and the spacecraft do not like landing and so on. And the other, the other problem, the other reason we do that is if you're in an inverted aspect. Well, Michael, like what's today? July 4th? July 4th. Are we trying it again? Trying it again. <laughs> That's a live shot of them going out to the launch pad, I believe, right? That's correct. They're giving the band. You think we're going to go? You think it's a go? The rain clouds coming, but they might be gone by the time lunch time. Yeah. Two thirty. I think so. My wife's coming out here, maybe. Really? Yeah. I didn't see her. Yeah, have you ever seen her before? It's looking good. We're uh, got the crew on board right now. They're uh, doing their uh, cabin leak checks. They just finished the uh, checks and leak checks. The seals on the hatch. That's gone well. Uh, cabin leak checks are going to work right now. Com checks, comical com checks with uh, LCC and with Mission Control. Everything's looking good. Uh, weather forecast for 238 is looking real good. The showers offshore are breaking up. We're not worried about about them, they're not going to be a factor come launch time. So right now everything's looking good for launch at 2:38. Give me a thumbs up, buddy, for launch. Absolutely. All right. And uh, it looks good. It's going to be a lot of fun. Good to have you back. Charlie, who's this person with the flags in her hair? Oh no! Are we going for lunch? You gotta give me thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for go for lunch. All right. He did good. He really did good. Let's see. Who's that? That's late. Anderson. He used to work out here. Her son. Oh. He just graduated from the Air Force. Good looking guy. Yeah, very good. I bet you're guy. proud. Oh yes, I am. He got honors. I am very proud. Right. Thanks. <laughs> yes, he did. Charlie, give me thumbs up for lunch. Charlie Two of them. Up. All right. Up. All right. <laughs> 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 uh, that's a pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah, considering the distance. Give me a thumbs up. There you go. Don't give me that look. You gotta give me a thumbs up. What was I doing here, though? <laughs> 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 All right. We better go today, buddy. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it just looks great. Where's grandma? Plus we scheduled eight hours. Where's grandma? Plus we scheduled eight hours. We can have like 50 hours. There's a big cheese. What do you think? Gonna go? Too many clouds? That's fine. Oh, 
Call me if there's a hold. Thanks. Bye. That's counted. It's at six minutes and a second. What do you think? I think it's going to go. Yeah, about six, seven minutes. Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. You'll see it.
by taking crews and supplies and equipment to and from the space station. And then by the year 2018, the crew exploration vehicle will be able to carry astronauts back to the surface of the moon. We'll be carrying four astronauts at a time on those uh, next lunar flights. And then if all goes well, sometime around 2030, a variant of the CEV will be able to take astronauts all the way to Mars. So this is the direction that we're going in now, and a lot of the research we're doing on the International Space Station is to learn more about what happens to the human body over long periods of time in space. We do know there's a certain loss of bone and muscle mass when you're up there for a long period of time. Your heart slows down and therefore your immune uh, system is affected. Uh, so these are some of the things we have to study in human physiology alone that we're going to have to know from A to Z by the time we fly to uh, Mars. Because that flight to Mars is looking to be somewhere on the order of a year and a half to two year trip all told. Probably about eight months out, six months on the surface and eight months back. So uh, we're going to have to have all of our knowledge and all of our ducks in a row before we make that uh, trip to Mars sometime around uh, uh, 2030. STM interview, are you with us, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, um, did you guys have a thought on how long you're going to continue to work on that generator? Or yeah, I've seen a lot of them, too. They're quite a spectacular event, as you're going to witness here in about 10 or 12 minutes, but there's nothing like being on top of this thing as they lift off, and you're going to see. I guess the lift off is kind of over the three flagpoles here. That's about the general direction to be looking at, so uh, you'll probably hear the sound within about, oh, just a few seconds after liftoff. There's five big engines are going to be developing seven million pounds of thrust. How much is that? It would pick up this IMAX building here behind me and lift it off the pad. So that's how powerful this thing is going to be. And you're going to, within a few seconds, hear the rumble over here at the Space Visitor Center. And watch this magnificent machine lift off and do its slow roll and head out over the Atlantic Ocean and in preparation for rendezvousing with the International Space Station tomorrow. We have what we call a 10 minute window, which is will open about 11.10 and ends about 11.20. What is a window? That means we've only got 10 minutes to get this spacecraft in the air because uh, the space station has gone around the Earth at almost 18,000 miles per hour. So every second we're late, that's six miles. So if I'm uh, 60 seconds late, I'm 360 miles behind the space station by the time I get up there, and I don't want to do that. We want to be exact. We're in the space science business, so we want to launch precisely on time and get, get exactly a couple hundred miles behind the space station when the engine shut there, it'd be in position to be 200 miles behind the space station when we start our rendezvous tomorrow. So it's very critical that the space shuttle lift off on time. It's not really 11:15, by the way. It's 11:14 plus 55 seconds. So reset your clocks if you think it's going to be 11:15. It's going to be 11:14:55. Yeah, the, uh, the and then Atlantis Houston with updates for the TAL site at 10 peak 15. The breakdown is 4 peak 6 and, and then the uh, at press we will select Istris and for Istris it'll be yeah, 
I finally can see a shuttle launch, fingers crossed. We've got about five minutes before uh, the nine minute countdown, in which case it's more than likely going to take off. Uh, I've, come, I've been here for two weeks waiting for this to go up and I'm uh, looking forward to it uh, in 15 minutes, hopefully. Also, a few minus five minutes, the fire engine will be activated and the uh, safety system will be activated. Thank you. 